Good afternoon, everyone. Today is September 2nd, and I'm going to be working on the journal again for um, the commissioned one that I have. Um, I'm not sure exactly what I'm going to do. I just thought I'd turn the camera on and work on it because it, it's just kind of the way I work. I, I don't have a, a plan necessarily, but I had taken um, a couple pages out of this um, official guidebook book uh, map that's from Williamsburg and as it turns out she lives in a little town outside of Richmond, Virginia. So I took that map page out of my um, uh, atlas and I'll, I'll put that in there too but I'm going to cut it to size. So to put these two pages together just to give you an idea how I do that is I take a piece of washi tape, I put the two pages together, washi tape down this side and then I'll turn it over and washi tape down the other side. So these are the tapes that I received um, from Amazon. I was excited to get the rose one. However, it's not as rosy as I thought it was going to be. It's a little, um, it's a Tim Holtz, but I just thought it was going to be a little lighter. And this is the Tim Holtz. Uh, it is Ideology, I guess that's how they pronounce it, uh, design tape. Um, I'm not sure what what the name of this one is. Oh, it's called Rose. So if, if you're interested in that, you can get it from Tim Holtz, um, Amazon or wherever you might buy Tim Holtz uh, tapes. Anyway, um, but I do like the colors of these. They're really um, kind of neat. They're uh, vintage looking, so that'll work. I didn't want to buy anything that was a kit, and, you know, or several of them at one time, and then you get real cutesy ones, and then there's only really one you want to use. So anyway, take this here. I'm going to do it on the inside and the outside. And this this actually has a little pink tint to it, so that's kind of nice. Since the colors I'm using for this journal are pink, somewhat, kind of a rose dusty pink. I don't know. I tend to go to that color and I don't know why because it's not really one of my favorite colors but I don't know I like all colors but so then we're going to fold it up here so that I can put it inside and make it a page okay so then um, I also have two well this one is already folded it's already connected but I'm going to put um, a reinforcement down the center of this this is just out of a uh, hymn book and I just always kind of like to uh, throw these in to my journals um, depending on what kind of journal it is but um, I think this lady will probably enjoy uh, this type of page and I'll use um, these pages also to put pockets on where they can't write you know there's no room to write but it's just um, kind of a a thought page, I guess is what I would think. Just reading it. Okay, so then trim that off a little bit. I'm not sure what time I started this video. I was watching um, today Gail Augustinelli, her video, and she gets so much done in an hour. And I seems like I can't get anything done in an hour. I don't know why that is, but I'll just plug along. Maybe as time goes on, I'll be, maybe it's just that I'm not organized. Okay, so we've got that page. We've got this page. Uh, that one may need to be cut down. So let me get a, this is avocado dyed page, which was kind of a pretty pink color. So I know that I need my pages to be smaller than that, and those are both smaller, so we're good. And I don't care that they're all the same size. I, I do not mind, um, you know, differences in sizes like that. I like that, actually. I think it looks nice, but I'm not going to do that right now. We're just getting the pages. Um, okay, and then, so this map here... I don't think I want, we know that we need, I think it measures eight and a half, 
a sheet of paper. Yeah, eight and a half. So I'll do like eight and a quarter. I'm gonna cut this on my cutting. Get it out. I'm sorry, it wasn't. Bunch of junk left for another cut. have this open so I can get the eight and a quarter. So we want to, let's see, I want Richmond, Virginia. Um, let's do, let's cut it a little bit below Richmond. She is located over here on the west side of, um, I marked it very lightly and now I can't even see it. Anyway, I'm just going to that little bit off there and then we'll go eight and a half this way or eight and a quarter and that way I get the full page of Richmond if I know where somebody's from and it's you know it's a commission journal then um, I usually try to find a map page and I look for vintage ones, uh, but I didn't have any Virginia vintage, so I'm going to use a newer one. Okay. I'll keep this for scrap. This works good for collage. Okay, so now I just need to think about, well, we have Seattle on this side. So... Generally what I'll do is make sure that this side would have a, a larger pocket. And then we have Richmond on this side and Seattle again on that side. So I, I might turn it the other way, I don't know. No, because then Rich wouldn't, Richmond wouldn't be first, so no. Okay, we'll do it that way. And we'll have to put um, a pocket or something on that. So, okay, we've got those pages. Um, this is another page with a floor plan. Um, if you could see her, a picture of her house, it is very much Williamsburg style. And this one has a floor plan, which is typical of most of the houses there. I'm just going to take a quarter of an inch off of this. So she does live in a very historical style home from the, the picture that I saw. In fact, um, what I do with those pockets things I had. Oh, good. Um, I guess they'll show up here somewhere. I had a couple picked out. Hmm. Well, that might have been the ones I... Okay, this is not like hers. This one is more like hers, but not... The, hers is like this one right here. It has the three dormer windows, and then the windows like that. And it has this section and this section of the house. So it's pretty close to what her house um, looks like that she lives in today. Okay, so we got that, and then we've got this page. It'll fit which has the floor plan of a house, typical of that area. I've got um, a couple guest checks here that I was thinking to use for tags. Just to put some of this away. So I... Okay, so now I need pockets because I have a few tags, but I'm really low. Oh, and I got my stapler. Um, I've got this little coated thing too I was going to work on. Um, I got the stapler. I haven't opened it yet. But it said it came with staples, but there's like hardly any. And then I think I'm going to try to paint those with alcohol ink um, because it works on metal. And because I really don't want my staples to be, I mean, even look at this yet, but I don't want my staples to be um, silver. 
I'm just weird that way. I like my staples, staples to be, and I don't know if there's any in there, but I'm not going to take time right now to figure it out. I will though. That's cute. Nice and handy. So when I get that figured out, and then I'll try and um, actually paint these staples with uh, bronze or brown or something um, and see if that will work. Because I don't think it'll glue them together or anything like if it was painted. It's, it's just the ink, ink, alcohol ink. Okay, those are for something else. So let me get a book page. doesn't matter what page. Probably never use this again. <laughs> okay, so let's see. Um, I had one over here that I was going to copy because it's similar to this one, I guess. This is double book page, though. Um, okay, I don't want the wording to be upright. I guess it doesn't really matter. Hmm. These come in the mail, junk mail, and um, they make really good journal cards. Here I'm making one with collage on it. Um, it's for Uber Eats or something, and you know, instead of throwing them away, just use them and and um, use your leftover. I don't know. These book pages are too short or something. Um, let me see if I can pick up the book. I don't see one handy. I've um, moved everything around, so let me see. This one I did yesterday. I don't know if I did it on video. Um, I just folded the book page over, and then I put this little um, lace around on the top here, and then a little um, cluster. And it's the pocket on both sides if I wanted it to be, but I probably won't. I'll probably just... And I sewed around the edge. But that wasn't the pocket I was looking for. I don't see it. All right, well, let's just make one. Mm, let's see. Maybe. I guess I can just sew around this. And... I like the top edge to have. Okay, let's do it that way. I'm going to sew this, this, and this. And then um, we'll decorate it somewhat. Okay, hold on one second. Let me sew this real quick. I wish my machine would stay. I turn it off. Every time I turn it off, then I lose the settings and then I have to reset it. house right there. So and see this journal card will fit in there fine. I have in this little fold up one but and then one like this would fit in there. Um, 
I saw too this, um, I think I showed you this, I'm not sure. Um, Bohemian Crafter. She like cuts the corners off like in a little, um, just a little snippet. And she says that it makes the, it look more vintage. And I kind of think she's, you know, right. I, I, instead of it looking so sharp, I mean, can I probably just, a lot of people take their scissors and just go like this and give their edges a little bit more roughness. So that's cool. I want to use this. I, I don't know if I want to um, put something in here and cover this or just leave it as a Kodak picture frame thing. But I think that's cute. All right, so let me see what I've got to de decorate that. Uh, butterflies. Um, let's see what we've got for butterflies. Flowers. Oh, I've got, um, these are new birds by Artsology. I just um, did these. And I loved this one pink one. That looks pretty. It's only one pink one. I have to cut the whole thing out to get another pink. Let me see here. That one's got a few pink flowers on it. It's yellow. Hmm. But I do kind of like the pink color. Oh, here's one with a pink flower on it. That's good. I like that. Okay, let's see if I can find um, a little pink. Do I have any pink fabrics cut? These were already. Pretty vibrant, maybe too much. Oh, that's kind of, I like that, that one. Okay, should I put something? I'm gonna put a little lace. Just plain. I like to do things in kind of threes. Um, you know, even when I, you know, decorated my house and all that, I would do like a wall or a bookshelf or something. And lots of, you know, in sections of three or five or seven to make it odd. So, that's cute. Um, maybe, let's try a little lace just in case. Um, Did oh, that's too. I mean, I could put that all the way across. I kind of like that, but I don't know that this is the lace I want. I want something a little more creamy looking. of letting it hang down like that so that it 
will hang off the bottom of the page. All right, so. Do that. Hmm. Just there for now. Oh, come on. I just did the contrast of the a little bit with the definition okay so I feel like I need one more thing so one two three four and if I put one more thing there um, oh that's the same fabric um, I had my little box of little thingies and I don't see it. Let's see, maybe some of this little pink here. Nope. Let's see, maybe if I just had a, the tiniest little flower or a number. Let's see. I just got numbers from. Um, There. See, I just needed that extra little thing. Okay. So, I'm going to just, um, I guess I'm going to have to get out the fabric, fabric fix, fabric tack. Right, let me glue it down to this this paper down first. Okay. And this doesn't need inked, but a little bit of that white shows. And that's kind of why we ink around the, the back, around the edges. Okay, and then let me ink across here. I mean, glue across here. And hopefully it doesn't show through too much. It's the only thing I don't like about that glue. Maybe next week I'll have at least my room somewhat organized so I know where things are. But I just can't stand not to get back to the videos or get back to journal making even without the video part. But I don't want to do some things that I can show while I'm making so that any subscribers will I want to think I'm going to move it down just a tad so that the 
that's on the lace somewhat. And it doesn't have to be glued all the way tight down, tightly down, because I like it when it has a little bit of movement. The paper, yes, you want to get the paper glued down as much as you can because that will pop up. And I need a little bit right here, but I don't know if this is going to hold it. Let me hold it down for a second. Oops. That's the one thing about putting paper or over fabric. Sometimes it's hard to get it to stick. Okay, now I'm going to trim this up a little bit here. And this side a little more. I think that's cute. Cute little pocket. I might. little washi trim here, a little skinny, you know there's an opening, there it is, I was just thinking maybe if I just put it on this edge ever so lightly, Just worry about these um, paper prints that are so old that they'll get brittle with people sliding things in and out of them. Plus, I just wanted to use this tape. <laughs> All right, so I think that looks pretty good. So when we get ready to put it on a page. Let's see here. And I also have this page up here. I have a couple pages here. I have this house and this one too. It also has the different bedrooms. And then I had, I um, cut out a, this is from a embroidery design that you iron it on. And I put that in as a page. I think this one needs to be cut off. Let me take this one out and put this one in. These are all just temporary. Just temporary. All right, so if I see, I can cover almost all the map with that. I could collage over the top of this. Part of the map where it says bright Seattle but I'm gonna put a journal card in it it's gonna hide it anyway even if I go all the way down to the bottom I'll see if I find a little taller tagging it like that That, that way Seattle's just not blaring out the that town, but it still has the map. I think that's pretty because it does have that green in there and the green in them in that part of the map. So I'm just gonna glue it down. Okay, I'm just gonna use this. Let me ink around this a little bit first. And I'm gonna round the corners on this. always ink around every page but depends on what the page is I guess 
or what mood I'm in. Let me just run down it real quick. I know you've all seen people do inking on their pages. A lot of people don't do it. They don't really like it, I guess. But that's the way my journals are, so I hope that anyone who gets one also likes the inking. I mean, I'm not going super, super grungy ink with it, but somewhat. Okay. See, that was quick to make a pocket. I wanted to do something a little fan. I'm going to do some more... Um, junk mail pockets. I think those are are nice because for one they're sturdy. I'm going to have this so it peeks out of the page just a tiny bit down here. Let me get this beak down better. Couldn't have dried up that fast. <laughs> this art glitter glue is crazy dry fast glue. There we go. All right, so I'm going to put that there. And I always check everything, you know, before I give a journal or sell one to make sure that everything is, is glued on the best that it can be done. So I think that's nice. And in that little, you know, burgundy color goes with that. It goes with, um, you know, these colors in this little pocket. Just gonna see how it looks with this. It looks fine with that. They all just kind of blend together when they're all done. I like that bird. I want to use the pink one now. I'm going to find a spot for that pink bird. Okay, so I'm going to stick these pages in together. This one, I'll just punch the corners on this. This book is this map or um, tourist guide book, I guess is what, you know, how you get them when you go to different places. I mean, still today, you can get, uh, you can come to my town, Cartersville, and they'll have a book on the history. And um, But Williamsburg is not that far from where she lives, so I think it'll still be interesting for her. Okay, so we got that. This one needs the corners clipped. I'm not gonna ink this right now. I'll do it later. Okay, and then I'm not sure how many signatures I'm gonna put in this, so let's just see. We've got one, two, three, four, five. Six, seven pages so far. And then um, I'll be putting in, um, see, like this little guy here that I have, I'm going to use him as a, a side pocket. It's got the ink in it. I mean, it's just never going to open it. But let's see. I've got. wallpaper page. Let me just trim this page up a little.
And I didn't um, coffee dye, I, I sh didn't print on coffee dye paper. I printed it just on an ivory paper. Um, it's paper that I buy on Amazon. I can't remember the exact name of it. I have it, the label somewhere around so that I could tell people what it was, but I don't have it in handy. When I do get it, I'll let you know when I come across it. Or, or I can look it up on Amazon what I, what I purchased. But it's nice. It's like a little thicker than copy paper, but not thick. So I, I kind of really like it. All right, so here we have this page. So I'm thinking 10 pages per signature. She wants uh, to make sure that I leave enough for her to them to write. And then we'll also have one of the other pages that I made that um, it's the guest book. This is one here. So that would also go in there as a page. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Oh, that's only nine. So I need one more. But, um, and I made glue. Um, these together, this one and this one. You get a page for the next signature. Let me just um, trim this off so that it's nice and straight. I just trim this edge so it's straight. Notice how I put nothing away. I apologize. Okay, so I like those little poodle guys first. And that little guy is not a poodle guy. So I'd like him to be on the back and I'll put a pocket over that. And so the front, so I may have it go like this and this. If I get pocket, poodle, okay, poodle, and then a pocket, and a poodle, and a poodle. Okay. Okay. Poodle, pocket, poodle. Okay. Just checking again just to make sure. And we'll do. Seal that together with some more of this tape. And this one here is the alphabet. Can't go wrong with the alphabet. I could put these together also with um, fabric. I could glue fabric. Or I could hinge it with coffee dyed paper. I could just glue coffee dyed paper or any paper, you know, scrap of paper, you know, to hinge the two together. But I kind of just like the tape look. And it's not very um, thick. So that when you go to, but it's pretty strong. So when you go to put it in the pages, when you sew it. All right, and then we're probably gonna to have to cut some of this down because I think it's probably too long. So, huh, it's so cute. And she actually has a party poodle and I'm gonna look for one of those to put in her book too. Um, a black and white party poodle. That, um, okay, so let me get a book page so we know the size. Yeah, see, we're gonna to have to cut that down. Darn it, we're gonna to have to cut I 
think the feet will be cut off if I do it that. I'm looking to see, yeah, see the feet will be cut off. So let's see if I do this. And then the feet will be showing on that one. The page is going to be a little bit too long this way, but I might be able to leave it. If not, I could take that tape off and move it over and cut it from that side. I think I can get the tape off. Okay, I'm cutting the top and the bottom. Okay, so there's her little poodle page. That's another page. So I'm gonna, I'll sort these out when we get them all done. Um, this is gonna have to go on something rather plain page. Like this one doesn't, but it'll look cute with um, a journal card in there. Another. I made this one yesterday too. I put this little butterfly on there. Um, whose kit was this? Um, I'm not sure. I'll have to look it up. I'm sure I've already linked it to my um, YouTube video, but I'm not sure what the name is um, at the moment. I hate that one. I can't remember who it was, but I liked it because it was pink. Anyway, so something like that would be, be cute. And then we then we have this one that we did yesterday. Oh, and then I put that piece of tape there because I got the tape later in the day. So that's another cute pocket that can be put in. All right. I'm going to put this with my pockets that I have so far. We've got this little pocket too that we did yesterday. And that's got a journal, a little journal tag in it already. Cute. Alrighty. So, that's it for today. And I'm going to try to Get some more pages probably um, together. You know, all the edges torn off so you don't have to watch me tear off edges. Okay. And I'll clip this so that I know that those are the pages. Set it over there. And then this is just the, you know, I might have wrote that in here. Um, Oh, and I have these two envelopes I'm going to use, too, because she's a quilter, too, so she likes to sew. So I'm going to put this in, and I don't see Nope. It could be Artie Mays. Uh, I just don't know. Hmm. Uh, I don't know. I have to look it up. Alrighty, well that's it. I don't want to bore you anymore with this kind of stuff. So, everyone have a wonderful day and um, stay safe. And I will see you again soon. Thank you.